love the mountains, love the views, it's got beautiful graphics, but <laughs> I can't deal with this. Well, good day everyone, thanks for joining and uh, tuning in. Um, I had a, uh, a subscriber ask me to show them what FS2020 looks like in my rig. Here it is, FS2020. I'm currently parked at Lukla uh, in um, real weather conditions and I've just loaded straight in and and uh, set up three uh, monitors uh, on the experimental mode and I've not made any adjustments yet I've just jumped straight in so as you can see bit to do because as I've been talking about for a while I've got a shell inside of a shell and I can't get rid of that shell because unlike X-Plane in Plane Maker where I can delete all of this, this, I can't do that in FS2020. And so I'm looking at this and this. And to me, that's an immersion killer. Um, graphical, yep, yeah, I, I get it. It looks really good. And um, I'm very happy with the graphics. It's fantastic. And I've said that all along. But I can't deal with that. Uh, now, I'll play around with it now and I'll tweak some settings and uh, come back and see if I can't get it tuned in pretty well. And look, here's another one. So I have a compass, right? Well, I don't need that. So turn it off. You can see the panel, the other panel in there. So, you know, for me, inside of a cockpit, these are immersion killers. Um, and I just want to have a blended view into my wings. And if FS2020 could achieve that for me, it would be great. And I'd, I'd give it a try and I'd use both sims, as I've said before. But right now, that's not doing it for me. Uh, let me have a look at it and see if I can't get it to at least look something reasonable. Come back in a sec. So I just tried tweaking the settings uh, in the zoom height. Uh, and so on, just across the three monitors, and uh, it crashed. Good start. Back in a sec. Well, that was fun. Crashed four times in the process, and uh, yeah, it's not very stable, but anyway. Um, where do I start? Uh, so what's wrong with this picture? <laughs> so what what I've got is you have a look at the um, the right hand view here. So what I'm trying to do is obviously get this to disappear, uh, and so so I can see the underside of my wing, uh, which would be nice. Um, and that's about as much as I can do. But obviously because these are all moving in parallel. As soon as I drop the eye view down, or height, as it is in FS2020 settings, uh, I end up, um, you know, I, as, I, as I drop height, I end up obviously pulling the panel up, and that's a problem for me, because now I've got the panel in the way. Now if I drop the panel, I'll obviously drop all of this, and then I won't, I'll just end up seeing the top of the thing and I can show you that now so look if I take a view now and uh, drop everything to hide this under here which is really what I need to do I'll show you what it looks like interesting someone's just taken off uh, I mean FS 2020 online oh there's a helicopter here <laughs> which is pretty cool um, anyway that's the good thing about FS20, and I do like, I like all the multiplayer side of it. Um, uh, that's pretty cool. And the graphics are great, don't get me wrong. Uh, I do like it, but I'm just so frustrated that I can't strip these bits off the aircraft. So now I've got the panel low, 
and it's below there, but I can still see it either side, you know, and I can still see the back of the compass. I'm looking at two compass, um, and as you can see, look at the, you know, I've got this, and then I've got this, and I can't see any of my wings. So it just, for me, it doesn't work. If I didn't have a physical shell, and for those that um, love FS2020 and want to build your, you know, your panel and everything, it's difficult at this point in time because you, you've got this physical shell. You're looking at two shells, and it just kills it for me. Um, I mean, so here we are, Lukla, here. And let me go and show you the X-Plane exactly same location. Um, I probably won't have the snow in the season, but we'll see if we can't get that and replicate it. Clear skies, and I'll sit here, uh, same runway in X-Plane 12, and show you what that looks like by comparison. But this is the FS2020, and this is about as best as I can get it, um, which, yeah, it's pretty cactus. Okay, back soon. So here we are, X-Plane 11 version. Uh, it hasn't put the snow on the mountains there, but default Lukla uh, in X-Plane 12. At least I'm pretty sure it is. But you tell me, which one do you think looks better from a cockpit perspective? Um, in my opinion, uh, as I said before, whilst I do appreciate FS2020 has much better graphics, um, this, from an immersion point of view, is much better. I have a, I have a panel blending into my cowling across the front there, and more importantly, or equally importantly, um, if I look to my left and to my right, I've got the physical cockpit blending into the wings, um, and uh, and I get to see that beautifully. So, because of X Plane's capability in Plane Maker. I'm able to strip those elements off of the airplane model um, so that I can just see the bits that I need to see looking from the inside out. From the outside in, it uh, doesn't look as flash. It's not too bad, but, um, uh, you know, it's pretty good. So that's why, uh, you know, once FS2020 can give me that sort of capability, I'll give it a shot. Um, but you know, you be the judge. Do you prefer something that looks like this um, from a cockpit point of view or something that looks like this? Oh, well, you be the judge. Uh, Yep, love the mountains, love the views, it's got beautiful graphics, but <laughs> I can't deal with this, and I certainly can't deal with this, and uh, I'm not biased, well I actually am a little bit biased, I must admit, to explain because of that functionality, but if FS2020 could fix it, I'm in. Anyway, onwards and upwards.